to our radio presenter, Lincoln Edwards, who they call Stick Maribo. He's flying the Jamaican flag high in Australia. So he joins us now to tell us about his two passions, music and food. Morning, sir. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Good morning, Neville. Yes, sir. Blessed love Jamaica. It's so nice to be here with you this yeah, morning. What, what time is it now? It's just gone past 11 p.m. and tonight is Wednesday night. Wow. So you're not tired, you? <laughs> you're not tired? We're living in the future, man. <laughs> um, where's this stick Maribo come from? What that mean? Well, you know, I know, when I was a little boy, you know, they used to call me the stick. They called me a lot of nicknames, but the stick was the one because I was so maga, you know? <laughs> and when I, when I started working in radio in Australia, they wanted me to use a nickname. So I used the nickname Stick Mariba because the Mariba is kind of musical as well, you know, in okay. Australia. Tell me about the journey to Australia. Why are you there? How long ago you left us and what you really do? I tell you about the music and the food, but tell me exactly what you do. Yeah, so um, basically, you know, I, as a youth grew up in St. Thomas in Jamaica, little place named Yap, big up the family, Miss Enid still alive and kicking well over there. You know, all young Jamaicans in the country aspire to travel and go and see the world. And yeah, I got an opportunity to come to Australia. And uh, before I moved to Australia, I used to work at Devon House, you know, and uh, I was always into the, the, the music and, but the food was a big thing for me. So when I moved to Australia, I decided that I'd like to pursue music as a DJ. And uh, I, I'd say I spent quite a significant amount of time on commercial radio. But in 2016, I decided to combine the DJing with food and created the Jamaican Music and Food Festival which is the biggest event for Jamaican music in Australia right now. Yeah, uh, but why the food and how many Jamaicans are, are, are close to you, where you are? Where are you, in Melbourne? I'm in Melbourne, which is the capital city of Victoria. Right. And um, th there are probably about 400 Jamaicans in Melbourne. There's about, there's just under a thousand Jamaican across Australia. Okay. And, and your, what is it, a restaurant that you have? Well, no, my restaurant is my kitchen and at home and from time to time I cater for big crowds and, and, and big events. But I don't have a restaurant. I cook from home and I try to, um, I try to, to show off my cooking online by running cooking classes and DJing while cooking. You know? and, and, and what do you cook? <laughs> what do you cook? Is just Jamaican stuff you try to give them and can you get uh, Jamaican produce in, in, in Melbourne? Look, it's a struggle to get the things that I would like, you know, but every now and again, I can find some green banana and a piece of yam and, you know, some every now and again during during the winter, in the in the in the summer months, I can get uh, a breadfruit, but it's a struggle to find Jamaican produce. But I always try to cook close to what I remember from the country. So, so what's what's the favorite meal to cook and, and, and what kind of response you get? Um, and do you um, get a chance to serve non-Jamaicans, Australians, or is it just Jamaicans you cater to? Like I said, there's not many Jamaicans here, man. So, you know, last week my big cook was for 90 doctors, and there were no Jamaicans in that group. And they love the food, man. Rice and peas and jerk chicken and curry goat and occasionally the oxtail, you know, and brown stew fish and escovitch fish. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> what about Australian food? Any, any, any similarities to, to what we know and like? Well, in the early days for me in Australia, I didn't like any of the food at all. You know, nothing tastes right to me, even when you find produce like the green banana and the avocado, what we call pear in Jamaica. Yeah. It still never really tastes as, as nice. As, even the chicken don't taste as nice as the chicken in Jamaica, regardless of what seasoning you put on it. But um, you know, you, you can get you can get some some close similarities. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tell me about how the music and the food work at the same time, because apparently that's what you do, right? <laughs> that's one of the things I do. Look, the Jamaican Music and Food Festival is all about all different kind of food from Jamaica, and five thousand people will come out every summer to check it out, and um, you know, well. 
all kind of music from Jamaica, ska, rock, steady, jungle, dub, dancehall, rootsman, reggae, everything, you know? But in my kitchen during the lockdown period, the first lockdown in Melbourne, I was getting bored and climbing the walls. So all of my friends and most DJs around the country were just playing a DJ set every now and again. And I say, you know what, since I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking up some rice and chicken, I might as well kick in some music and a silly thing begin. <laughs> <laughs> so what, is that everyday thing? Uh, uh, what, one hour, two hours, all day, how, how you do it? It's not every day. I have a little granddaughter who is nine years old and she loves coming into the kitchen with me. So I try to teach her some of what my mother used to teach me, you know, because my wife is not Jamaican, my wife is Sri Lankan. So we combine them two kind of culture there and teach her how to cook Jamaican and Sri Lankan food. Yeah. So um, a cooking session will take as long as the oxtail take to cook or <laughs> the curry goat. Yeah. And we don't put no time on it. Whenever the meal is ready, well, we eat and drink. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, But this Sunday, Sunday coming, I'll be, I'll be doing a revival kind of session and, and cooking Sunday dinner in the kitchen. How do they find you? How do we uh, get to, to watch or hear or see that? Yeah, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Stick Maribo is the name for both, at Stick Maribo. Yeah, and IG, you can check me out there. And uh, oh, I have, a, I have a YouTube channel as well, so I post all my videos on YouTube. Okay. And yeah, that's where you find them. Okay, when last were you in Jamaica? I was in Jamaica for my mom's 80th birthday in 2020, January 20th, you know? Okay, fantastic. And, um, as soon as I got back from Jamaica, the whole country went into lockdown. So I only just yeah. got back into Australia and I'm hanging to come again. I'm telling you. How, how <laughs> difficult has that been for you last year? Well, even now, the, the pandemic, how difficult. Um, and I guess you had to make many changes with just a, a regular day, right? Well, I also tour um, a lot of Jamaican artists and I bring a lot of artists out from Jamaica and the UK and I just had a tour in March of 2020 and we went into lockdown pretty soon after that. And I've had 18 shows cancelled in 2020. I've had about 10 shows cancelled in 2021. Wow. But I've got about five shows lined up for the rest of the year and it looks like we're going to be all right, you know. Fantastic. Anyone you want to say hi to in Jamaica? Yes, absolutely. You don't have, I don't have enough time. I, I, I'd love to say a big hello to my mother, Miss Enid Edwards, from the yeah, district in St. Thomas. I'm Auntie Buna. I'm a cousin next door, Alga. Yes, no, so I'm loving a long time. I'm Sister G. And all of my friends are from all the road and around the lane of a yacht district. That's all, you know? Yeah, man, I'm loving her. Big. Respect, <laughs> man. And we love you too. Respect. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Great to have you with us. And go get some sleep now, all right? Yes, brother Neville, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, respect right. all Jamaicans. Yes. Big up on yourself. Enough respect to you, sir. Radio presenter Lincoln Stick Maribo Edwards. And he's a, obviously a, a big cook also. Well, now, what are the benefits of chocolate, by the way? Well, we're going to share a few tips after the break. So come. There's no time to hesitate. Tomorrow might just be too late. So much love, so much love to believe. Oh, oh. Any dream is possible. We can make what seems improbable come to life. Fantasies. 